Hi, it's Therese and Austin Paper and I'm back to colour with you. And today I've got this really nice set from Waffle Flower called Flower Circles. And I'm going to be doing some more colouring with my Dove Blender. And this time I'm going to be using water-based markers. I'll start by stamping out my image and I've got some archival jet black ink. Now it needs to be a waterproof ink that you use. You could use like a stays on black as well. That's also called jet black. So. Um, I've also got some watercolour cardstock and I'll just quickly stamp out all my flowers. So I'm going to start by simply laying down some of this colour. I have allowed a little bit of time to dry but not a lot so we'll see how we go. And then I'll, what I'm going to do is actually pull the colour out and make it lighter. with the blender pen. And to clean the blender pen I simply just wipe it onto another piece of cardstock or paper. Now to add my shading I'm simply going to just add the next colour on top. But I won't take it quite as far as the first colour and then pull it towards the lighter colour. And then my dark, darkest colour I'm really just going to use at the very edges just to make it look like a shadow. And I'll do the same again with my blender pen, just drag this out. And these watercolours are mixing so easily, it's really pretty. Good. The watercolour markers really do seem to give me a little bit of time. They don't seem to dry out too quickly. I'll do the same thing again. I'll just add the next shade. And I seem to be able to remove a little bit of the colour too just by cleaning the marker and then dragging it away. So that's easy. So I'm working on my next colour. I've got a few colours and I'm just going to keep on colouring and then I'll be right back.
So I really like the way that the colour looks when it's finished, but what I did find was by the time I got to my third colour, the even though I was using watercolour cardstock, uh, it was starting to get a little bit too wet. So I just found that I needed to add mostly just the darker inks where I wanted the shading to be and that seemed to work a bit better. Although the purple was a really difficult colour to work with. Uh, got a bit wet but I think it looks fine and I'm going to actually just do some watercolour on the background now. And I've got some cracked pistachio and peacock feathers. I'm going to start by adding some water to my cardstock. I have actually dried this off a little bit so the colour doesn't run. Hopefully the colour doesn't run. So I've had a little bit of Mr. Huey's Calico White, just use the end of the spray nozzle to tap some onto the front of the panel and I've also got some water cooler. Okay so I've let that dry and I've got a sentiment, this is from Mama Elephant's Everyday Greetings, really pretty sentiment set and I just love the font on these. Just using my stamp and magic to make sure I get it nice and straight. And I've got some Versafine Onyx Black Ink. And then I'm going to use my stamp runner to attach this to the front of the top fold card. Its finish size is 15 by 10 and a half centimetres. Just adding a black twine bow across the top. I really like the look that the blender pen gives with the markers and I'll be trying out a few more techniques using it so keep posted. Till next time, happy paper crafting. Bye.